All right, all right, last hole. We got hole number nine of Alwood. Glad to have this one done. Move on to the next course. Typically, I'm gonna pull out the beast, throw it on a forehand, just to go the right side of the main part of the tree through the branches. And as such, that was cutting a little close. I usually a little more right of that line, but this is my typical line I'll throw. Um, but sometimes I like to go over the top. Most people do the, the forehand similar line like this. But the beast just doesn't have enough to really give me a shot at an ace without hitting a bunch of branches and just kind of hoping for the best. So if I just want a surefire birdie, this is a pretty safe way to get on the, the green and putt. You can kind of do a flex shot and give yourself a, a small chance at having enough distance of getting there. But... Again, you're dealing with lots of branches and just hoping for the best. So I like to sometimes, I'll take the glide turn and go over the top of everything. So what I'll do is I'll aim at this tree here. I'm gonna slide to the right. See that branch there? I'll put my middle chevron right even with that and put some anhyzer on it. Try to get just to the left of those little leaves there so it doesn't catch. And then there you go. And it's actually a pretty safe throw. You don't have to deal with any branches. It just goes over, over the top of everything. And you got a small chance of kind of landing down into the basket. It's going to be a hard ace to get like this because there's just so little of the, the basket that you have to land just perfectly pretty much straight down into the basket. But it's a safe way to land on the green and give yourself a a solid shot at birdie so i'll do this pretty often um, i know it's probably not the most popular line to take on this one um, but it's you'll see i'm going to throw it several times and you can see it's it's fairly safe um, unless you do that that little opening there will piss you off sometimes because otherwise it's a pretty good shot but it'll get through out of bounds um, but again i don't think i'm going to keep grinding and try to get the, the ace with this line but I wanted to show that to you but it's a pretty safe way to throw it and just land right on the green and you have a small chance at landing in the basket so there's that shot I feel like there's a better chance of acing it throwing it this way than that first shot I showed you with the forehand um, beast or PD you can definitely throw the forehand um with some higher speed discs but it's it's just harder to get it down low enough to really have a shot at the basket this is looking pretty good oh, it's just left of the basket but i'm not i mean i, I must have thrown it 10 times now and i think all of them are good so this is the line i think i'm going to run it with this is the glide skip you see that tree? I should have stopped before I thrown it and showed it to you, but you can kind of see the potential of this shot. Keep it on a backhand. I slide to the left, and then I'll bring it over and have the top chevron point right down at the top of that tree. And just put enough hyzer on it to where it goes right of that tree and then through these branches here and gives it a shot to land and skip up into the basket. So feel like I've gotten close more consistently with this line. So this is what I'm going to go with and see if I can't get it for you. That one's too far left. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, the purpose of these, I'm trying to just grind out all the, all the courses, all the holes, and show you how to ace or eagle every single hole in the game. There's obviously some holes that just are not aceable. Come on, this looks pretty good. Oh, man. There's other holes that are aceable, but it's just so hard, and I didn't quite grind them out. But this one, I feel like I can get for you. As you can see, I'm getting pretty close, getting dialed in a little bit. This is too far left. I want to go right of that tree. I don't typically like doing ace lines where you have to go through branches, but this one, it seems to be hit, kind of hit the branches towards the end just right to slow it down and then give it a shot these branches right here slow it down and give it a shot to bounce it up and oh man i thought that was it all right we're getting close we're getting close 
Last hole of Alwood. Let's see if we can get that ace for y'all. Like the video, subscribe if you want to see when the next videos are up. Comment if you got better lines than what I show you in these videos, better discs to throw, or if you just want to see something, let me know what you want to see and I'll make it for you. This one's looking pretty to the right. All right, now I'm getting farther away. Focus. Glide skip. Slide over to the left. Top chevron right down towards that tree. Put about a disc and a half of hyzer on it. Hit these branches here. Dang it. Just about like that, but then when you hit the ground, just bounds up and into the basket. This is a left to right two wins. I put a little more hyzer on it. It's looking pretty good. Come on, be the one. Oh yeah. And there she blows. There's the ace. So it's doable. I think that's my best line to get it. It's fairly safe. We're gonna try for back to back and obviously not gonna get it, but we always give it a go. That's gonna hit the tree. That's not what you wanna do. But thanks for watching. We just finished Alwood. We'll see what course is next, but appreciate y'all watching me play some DGV.